Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, we will be doing a web speed uh, browsing test between the newly released iPad mini with the Retina display and the new Nexus 7 2013 edition. To give you a quick summary, the iPad mini comes with a 64-bit A7 dual-core processor which is clocked at 1.3 GHz and it has 1 GB of DDR3 RAM. The Nexus 7 comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor clocked at 1.5 GHz. It's also quad-core and it's got 2 GB of DDR3 RAM. Now we will do two sets of web browsing and loading tests. In the first set, I'll disable the pre-loading feature in Chrome which has the ability to preload websites while you are typing the website address in the address bar. In the second set of tests I will enable the preloading feature in Chrome and rerun the same exact tests. Some people think the preloading is a trick and that should be disabled and some people think it is a feature and that it should be enabled. So basically I'll just do both so none of you start crying over it. Okay, so the first thing we want to go to the settings and we want to clear all the history and the cookies and the data on both of these devices. Okay, so it's done on the iPad. Just launch Safari and let's go to Chrome. Do the same exact thing. Settings. Privacy. Clear all the browsing history. Everything. Gone. And let's just make sure the preloading function is disabled for the first set of tests. It is. So let's go back, create a new tab, and let's go to our first website, CNN.com. Okay, so let's do the same thing on the iPad, I mean on the um, Nexus, and let's press this at the exact same time. Go. Okay. So the Nexus 7 is still loading a little bit. The iPad seems to have been done. Let's do another website just to clarify these results. I'll do four websites. So let's do Amazon.com. Okay, let's click at the same time. Go. Okay, so the um, the iPad was considerably faster. The Nexus 7 is still loading a little bit, and it's done. Okay, so let's go to the next website. Let's do a feature-rich website, a, a, a website that is full of graphics and and content. All righty. GameSpot.com. All right, let's uh, go. Okay, so the iPad Air, I'm sorry, the iPad Mini seems to be good to go. Yet the um, Nexus 7 is still loading big time. It's still not complete yet. And there we go. So there was a, there was a huge lag there. Um, let's do one more website just to see why there was a huge lag. IGN.com, another feature-rich website full of graphics and animations. Alrighty, let's uh, go. Okay, the iPad is done again. And you know, this this time it wasn't that bad. It was actually very good. They were almost uh, um, loaded at the same exact time. Now let's go right back in and re-clear all the history and the cookies and the data on both of these devices. Clear history, cookies and data, gone. Same on Chrome. Gone. And this time we're going to turn on the pre-loading feature under bandwidth management. Go back back, create a new tab, launch Safari and let's quickly go to CNN.com and see what happens. Okay, we're going to press them at the same time. Boom. Okay, so this, this time Nexus 7 was ahead right away. Let's do another one. 
let's do amazon.com go oh wow that was quite instantaneous on the nexus 7 um with the preloading feature turned on so let's do ign.com a heavy duty website okay and let's uh, press enter nexus 7 completes this ahead as well so as you can see with the preloading function turned on we're getting some incredible results from the nexus 7 let's do gamespot.com The website is being loaded as I'm typing the website. That's the preloading function. So let's press enter one more time. Go. Okay, the Nexus 7 is still a little loading a little bit. The iPad seems to be done. But this is um this is a this is in this um phase the Nexus 7 was uh, obviously faster than the iPad mini when the preloading function is turned on okay when it's turned off the iPad mini uh, 2 is in fact faster and I'm just showing you guys the responsiveness of websites the mini is a little more smoother but Nexus is pretty fine too okay so that concludes our tests and I just want to add a final comment. The preloading feature is more than just uh, loading a website as you're typing it in the address bar. There's more to it than that. So what I'm going to do is, for those of you that want to learn a little bit more about how the preloading feature works exactly, I'm going to leave a link in the description that takes you to Google's help pages and they explain this feature much better. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus, Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.